Hello everyone, I'm Hillary with Dominion Tea and today we're going to celebrate the great outdoors with our August at-home flight. So we're going to start with a caffeine-free tea that we've named Sky Meadow Sunset and we named it that because the ingredients, um, well we didn't get our ingredients from it, actually grow in Sky Meadow State Park here in Virginia. And so you get a blend of alfalfa, dandelion, mint, um, we put in a little bit of orange uh, as well as honey bush, uh, but that nice kind of earthy flavor comes through and you kind of get a mint orange finish on this caffeine free drink. And of course, as a reminder, when working with herbals, you need to brew them at least five minutes and you absolutely want that boiling water. This is not actual tea, um, so it's a different material and it takes longer for the water to come in. It's okay, actually, if you want to extend your brew time to about seven to 10 minutes. Uh, you won't do any damage there. So our next one is ginseng oolong. And why are we tossing ginseng oolong in the middle of the great outdoors? Uh, just to give you a quick little lesson uh, on ginseng. So during this time of the year, the Chinese are very busy harvesting uh, ginseng and in this case, oolong as well. So this is a Tiquan Yen that is actually rolled in ginseng powder uh, and dried. And so you get the flavor of the ginseng on the finish. Um, so remember a little dry grass with this. This is also one of those oolongs that is very forgiving on water temperature. So if you don't have an electric kettle that lets you set that specific 185 to 195 for your oolong, and you're working with either the stovetop uh, or the microwave to boil water, you can actually brew this oolong at a boil. The ginseng kind of holds the heat a little bit better, handles it well, and keeps you from burning the tea. So just a little trick on that one. But as a kind of side note and why ginseng, China is the largest grower and harvester of ginseng on the planet. But what is so funny, the bulk of the ginseng they are actually harvesting is a North American ginseng, not a ginseng native to China. Um, and it has to do with the flavor profile and the preference for the flavor. Uh, so there's a fun fact while you go to explore this long. And then last but not least, we're going to give you a beautiful black tea out of Nepal. So our Everest gold, right? So nothing like climbing Mount Everest, which right now is gonna be a pretty busy place for those climbers trying to catch up who weren't able to go during COVID. Uh, but for you who is going to stay nice and warm at home, uh, this is a partially oxidized black tea, which means it's oxidized around about 92 to 95%. What does that do? Softer finish. You're going to come in a little bit weedier. You're going to notice that in the mix of the dry leaf, you're going to have some gold tones to those leaves. They're not just going to come through black. Um, and that is a sign of partial oxidation as well. And so you've got the great outdoors to explore in August and keep enjoying your tea. We hope you enjoyed learning more about tea with us. Hit the subscribe button so that you can be notified when we add more videos to our channel. And check out the highlighted videos to learn even more about tea. And last but not least, you can check out all of the teas we talk about in our videos at dominiontea.com.